Hey everyone! I'm here to talk about the good old year 2019 while I paint my fingernails in preparation for a New Year's Eve party. I'm in the middle of filming another video right now. It'll be going up tomorrow and it's the full get ready with me for this party. Um, it's the first time I've gone to like a classy like dress up party so I'm really excited about it so I'm doing a get ready with me. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about 2019. Uh, while I paint my nails. <laughs> so a bunch of people on TikTok were making like what happened in 2019 videos. So I was like, oh, maybe I should do that. I never did, but I did list off like all the things that happened in 2019. So I pulled that list up on my phone. This red is very pink. That was a weird phrase to say. It goes on really nicely. Thanks to my mom for borrowing this nail polish to me. I started off last year at home for break. I wasn't at home for as long as I have been this year, um, but I spent some time at home, especially because that was while Matt and I were still long distance. Um, we did not live together at the beginning of 2019, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, but we did go on our first anniversary trip. Um, we went to the UP um, and hung out in a really nice Airbnb for two nights. So like it had a great start, to be honest. It was really relaxing, it was really nice, we had a lot of fun, and then as far as I remember, other than being sick for the very beginning of the year, <laughs> um, and getting stuck at home when I had to be back at work, ooh, that was the worst paint job I've ever done. It's fine, also I missed a whole str I'm bad at painting my nails. I should have had my mom do this for me. It's okay, I fixed it. Anyways. <laughs> Um, and then, like, I had a full semester, like, all of the second half of sophomore year, which honestly was, like, one of the worst semesters of school. I was just really unmotivated and incredibly sad, partially due to being in a long-distance relationship. I think that was a lot of it. I just forgot that I was gonna make this gold. I can still put the gold over it. It's fine. <laughs> I was gonna do, like, red, 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 gold, red and then same on this hand. I didn't do that, but it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, like there's a whole school semester in there where I didn't really do much. Matt would come up and visit. I would go home, see my parents. Easter happens. It's kind of it though. <laughs> Spring's always kind of weird. Like not a lot goes on. At least it feels like that to me. Or like at second half of winter, if you live in the Midwest like myself. But end of the semester, as garbage as the semester was, and as difficult as like finals week was, was when we got our apartment! So I signed my first lease, I moved in with my roommate and my boyfriend, and like that was excellent. As much as we like low-key hate our apartment now, just because it's really tiny. It was so exciting to like not live in the dorms, it was so exciting to not be long distance anymore after a year, almost a year and a half. So like, that was that was probably the most like important part of my year. After that, I wrote down that I pierced my septum, which was like kind of exciting. This year's been really big for me, like finding a style that I really like and like how I want to look and present myself. And then that's all I've been making art about because of that. <laughs> but I did that first piercing in a decade because the other the only other one I have is my ears are pierced, which I got when I was ten at Claire's. I sold my first piece of art in a gallery this year. So I've sold art through school before. We do like an art sale situation and like that's cool and stuff. And obviously I take grad photos for people so I made money from my art. But I had a piece of work in a gallery this year. That was the first time and it sold! <laughs> so that was really exciting. Ooh, I might have to take back that the apartment was one of the coolest parts of my year because we also adopted Benji this year. Okay, there's been a lot that's happened. I haven't looked at this list since December 5th. I made this list and on December 5th. Um, but we got Benji, our sweet baby boy, which is just so exciting. Like, it feels really adult to have a whole ass pet. I saw one of my favorite musicians and one of my favorite people live this year. I saw Dodie live. It was amazing. Saw it with my friend and her sister. Even though we didn't plan it, I was just gonna go by myself. But like that 
that was amazing. I've only gone to one other like concert really. I saw Walk Off the Earth last year. Um, so it was the only concert I went to in 2019 and it was amazing. I was amazed. I cried I think three times and the first time was just because she was in the room. She was there singing in front of me and it made me cry. And then she played my favorite song. My favorite sad song, I should say. <laughs> she played my favorite sad song, and I cried again. <laughs> I feel like I should do a second layer on these. I probably will. I got promoted at work. That's kind of exciting. The job I have now is also the longest job I've ever had. I might make a like finances video um, because I think I'm doing pretty good at saving and I'm not like in a completely like privileged position. So I feel like I might have some good advice on that and I might talk about my job a little bit more. Um, but in the past, I've just worked two jobs for three months, um, just during the summer while I was at home before going to college, once before freshman year and then once before sophomore year. Um, but the job I have now, I've had for a year, so that's really exciting, honestly. It's really nice to, like, be in one place that I really like, with, like, coworkers and a boss that I really love. The last thing on my list <laughs> is that I learned how to jump a car to celebrate Finishing our junior reviews, my roommate and I, Olivia, went to Sonic um, <laughs> to celebrate, get some good Sonic food. Sonic is 20 minutes away from our apartment. Just to give some background information, we rolled up, I drove, rolled up, got our Sonic, we're having a great time listening to music. We uh, may have made the mistake of turning off the engine but keeping the car on. I figured that we wouldn't be there for too long, it wouldn't be an issue, um, I forgot that we were in a Prius, it was an issue, we killed the Prius. Matt, thankfully, got off work around the same time we were stuck in the Prius at Sonic, uh, and brought his jumper cables, and we learned how to jump a car with the help of a very nice Sonic employee, so thanks to them. I feel like a lot more happened this year, but it's kind of hard to like think of it all. I hope you all have a great day, night, evening thing. Check out the Get Ready With Me tomorrow if you're interested. Subscribe if you want to be notified so you don't forget, and I will see you tomorrow.